we did get into, you know, he was he's always very proud to announce that he is a gay man. And he said that uh, uh, having the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the modern sex ed uh, curriculum was very good for him because it helped him to realize uh, that he was gay and uh, to come out in, you know, with assurance. And, and that's great. I, I, by the way, have no problem uh, with kids learning all that stuff when they're old enough. Uh, for me, it's, there's two issues. Uh, one is age appropriate education. And uh, two is the new gender identity programs which are bogus. They're based on junk science. It's junk science that uh, can harm children because it can frighten them. They're too young to understand abstract concepts like gender and sex. Oh, maybe you look like a girl, but maybe you're not really a girl. Maybe you're more like a boy. That's extremely frightening to a five-year-old kid who doesn't even know what the heck gender is. Uh, yeah. So, but I said to Adam, and he should listen to me on this. He didn't. But if he thought about it, I said to him, you know, Adam, you're not the, the trans activists are not your allies because what they're doing with little kids that are nonconforming instead of instead of understanding that a lot of uh, gay boys uh, present as slightly effeminate when they're when they're young. But they're just going to grow up to be gay. That's all. Instead, they're being uh, kind of. Uh, marketed this program of maybe, you know, so, so they're, they're kind of picking off uh, kids that will turn out to be gay and kind of enticing them with the idea that they're actually uh, meant to be, or they're in the wrong body. They're meant to be the opposite, the opposite sex. So, so, and some of these kids, that sounds reasonable to them uh, because they like playing with girls or they like, so he's actually, uh, if he really cared about gay men, other gay men and, and gay boys, uh, he would want them to be very hands-off non-conforming kids and let them be what they're going to be. And most of those, most of those kids that are gender non-conforming are simply going to grow up to be gay and lesbians. Uh, and 90% of kids that uh, present as thinking they might be the opposite sex, uh, after puberty, they, uh, they become comfortable in their own gender, their own biology. Uh, and, and that's something, by the way, that is not taught to these kids. That is not taught that it's, it can be a passing phase or anything like that. This is, Ezra, this is a, the, the gender programs that they have now with these gender bread charts. These are marketing tools. Yeah. They're not educational tools. Yeah. They are marketing yeah. Uh, yeah. A, a way of life. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.